Conformity is a fascinating topic for a variety of reasons. For one, we live in a society that encourages individualistic thinking. It encourages us to find our own voice and to follow our passion. Yet there's pervasive pressures all around us encouraging us to conform, to follow the same secular idols, to care about the same celebrities, to watch the same television shows and movies. We are socialized beings. We may think we are unique snowflakes, but we conform more than we know. Most of us end up as sheep following the herd. And guess what? There's a reason for that. Your brain actually rewards you for engaging in conformity and group behavior. And your brain actually does not reward you for going down your own path. That's why we stand in awe when we see people that are truly pioneers, because they're salmon swimming upstream. They're going against the grain, and that is unnatural. And yet at the same time, nonconformity is the only thing that has ever led us towards places in which we transcend and achieve new things. You know, somebody had to go to the moon. Somebody had to say, yes, we can. Somebody had to push us beyond the group thing. There's that great line by Jack Kerouac, which says, the only people for me are the mad ones mad to live, mad to talk, mad to be saved, desirous of everything at the same time, those who never yawn or say a commonplace thing, but burn, burn, burn like yellow Roman candles exploding like spiders across the sky. We love our rebels. We love our misfits. We love our unique snowflakes and individuals, and yet the rest of us, for the most part, conform blindly in a herd.